Hey folks, and welcome back to Sunless Sea. Now, I think we were pretty much done here, except that we have to buy some fuel. And I think we're good on supplies, but let's buy one more just in case. So do we have the recent news? We do. We do have a port report. Actually, we do have two port reports. Okay, we have a lot of port reports, never mind. So let's sell those. Uh, where are you? There you are. Uh, take you. There we go. Okay, so what are our current objectives? Port Cecil. Tomb colonists. Right, right. Okay, so is there nothing else? Don't think there is. Nope. Okay then, let's head out and let's... Let's go south a bit, until we find a port, east, north, and uh, maybe drop by the salt lines again, and uh, get some more money. remember what this place was called. I don't think it's a station. Ah, right. Quaker's Haven. Okay, so explore the shore, no pickup of wretched mog, no chat with the fisherman. With the fisherman, yes, do that. And we get the port report. Visit the hilltop shore. Let's go with that. You succeeded. You have two terror. You gained 50 fragments. And we have done all this before, so... Uh, yeah, you're gonna, gonna have to look through the entire series if you want me to le read it out loud, but I don't think you do. <laughs> so you can just pause the video. Okay, so what else? Nothing else. Okay, uh, let's keep going. And we are here, so let's work... Uh, let's go east for now. Explore what we can. We've done a pretty good amount of exploration so far, but nothing interesting just yet. It seems like this episode might be another very, very uneventful episode. <laughs> we did run into a few bats, but they died in like one shot. And a crab as well, in the beginning. Wouldn't really call that eventful. And I think we... Didn't we, like, have some wine or honey or something that we could sell off here? I think we did. Let's see. No, nothing. Okay, then. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's too bad. And I don't even think we can... No, we can't even compile a uh, port report from this place. But let's explore a bit and try the grilled whatever these are. I lose two, two terror. I lost five hunger, that's nice. So yeah, let's, I guess, we'll just keep exploring for now.
Is this the castle? I think it is. But what is it doing so far south? Wasn't it... Okay, no, we're actually pretty far north. Okay, never mind. I think we could compile a port report from this place, but that's pretty much the only thing we could do. Unless, of course, we can find an officer. That would be nice. So, what do you have for me? Frost found... Gauge the officer, tireless mechanic, but we already have a mechanic. So, that's a big nope. And create a port report. And continue. Let's see. Take tea with the squatters at the dock. Sure. You gain one supply, one fuel. Oh. A surprisingly, surprisingly warm welcome. We're keeping the steps for the game of truths. A helpful, helpful riddle, Fisher explains, as she fills a cup for you for the third time. Every year, the people of Irem and with them meet here for, she pauses, contests, she f finishes vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle, one day someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spend a pleasant few hours while the tea is supplemented with ir iremi liquors, pale white white and beer, and something the riddle Fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the riddle Fisher grins. From time to time a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. Oh, how nice people. That's really nice. Now let's see, uh, you need 50 mirrors. No shops, no shipyards. Okay, well, that was nice. But I s don't think we can head to... Uh, no, we can't head to the uh, salt lions just yet. We need uh, tw 20 free cargo space. So let's keep exploring for a bit longer. You're the fast, annoying little twerp, aren't you? I wouldn't mind having a ship like that. I'd be able to outmaneuver most enemies if I did. But I doubt the ship that I would get would have 180 hull. Stand still, would you? There we go. Thank you. So, what will you get me? Foxfires. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, I guess. And we have almost reached the salt lines, so we can start... So we can earn some more money. It's nice. Also, did my journals say where Port Cecil is? Northeast of London. Okay. And Mr. Big Crab. I don't like the looks of you, you're saying. Well then, gra let's grab our stone and our port report. 
and I guess also visit the Unmakers while we are here. Plus five terror, gain one fragment. Thank you very much. And let's head back to London while trying to avoid the gigantic crab. So I think we'll take this way. And of course also visit the sisters along the way so we can get some free supplies. No! <sighs> Crap. Go, 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 go. You didn't see anything. Go away. You don't see me. There we go. You don't see me. And money, please. Thank you. Okay, now we do have enough to buy the townhouse. But I'm gonna wait with it just a while longer. Hopefully we don't die along the way before we have crafted our iron will. And let's also put our ship in the dry docks. I do believe we have enough favors for that. Yeah, we do. There we go. And of course head to the Admiralty and sell our porter ports. So we can get some more fuel and some money. Here we go. Okay, is there anything else? Yeah, we need to get our recent news. And maybe head down to the... No? Oh right, I think we only get one, uh, another free day if, I mean free evening if we get the, um, collect whatever it is, news or something from the harbor master. I guess we haven't been gone long enough for that to happen yet, I'm guessing. That's unfortunate. That's pretty unfortunate. Well, fine. Let's head to the shop. So, as usual, buy some fuel. Uh, should be enough with 18 and 7 supplies. Should be enough. And let's sell our... Uh... Well, what do I actually use Foxfires for? I don't know, but I'm gonna sell them, because they take up space. Anything else? No, nothing else. So let's go south again and keep increasing the uh, area that we can see and hopefully we'll find Port Cecil along the way so we can get our next strategic information. Well, it looks like the Kamean can channel doesn't move at all between uh, playthroughs. I don't think anything along the coast actually does, from what I've seen anyway. So let's drop by here and get the uh, port report and the uh, vision of the surface. I think this is where you get it. Let's see, yeah. I gather information. Port report, listen from surface gossip. There we go. Assist the genomic element in an enterprise of a dubious legality. Sure, let's do that. And 
head out. Right, let's go east. Hello, port. Who are you? Oh, Fungus Island. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think we can get a almost free sailor here, and also this is the second place for the Gallivant mission. A pleasant distraction. Tea with a factor. Accept volunteer. And gather support. No, let's compile a port report. And sure, let's try to gather some supplies. You were unlucky, you gained five terror. Ah, not the end of the world. And no shipyard. Too bad. So nothing more. Let's keep going. We are actually starting to run low on supplies, so I think I'm gonna... What are you? Go away. You don't see me. You don't see anything at all. Go away. So yeah, we are running out on supplies, so I think I'm gonna... Start moving towards the salt lions and stop exploring for now. Just one more area here. <laughs> and then we'll head back to London again. And probably end the episode there. So yeah, a rather uneventful episode, but... Oh! Port. Never mind. Maybe something can interesting can at least happen in this episode. Just one thing. That's all I'm asking for. Preferably not my own death. That's not really what I'm hoping for. So what are you? Exactly. Polythreme. Taciturn claiming ev evasive clothes colonies walking like humans, cobbling grown underfoot on the hills above a palace villa of marble, but even that writes like buried bones in the in an earthquake. What is this place? Are they passengers or cargo? They're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless, yes unless, one turns out to be an unfinished man. We should have six units of cargo space available. Actually, let's gather some intelligence first. Uh, what lives? The king with a hundred hearts rules from his palace above the city. He is never seen, he makes no treaties with other lands, but there's unrest in the air. The clay, main, the clay men you speak to are obedient and humble, but they speak nervously of those who are not. The maimed, the rebellious, the, the rebellious and the unfinished. Okay. Although Mithrium is an expensive place to reduce terror. Well, we have enough money, I think. So let's give it a try. Lost w one terror for 30 echoes. Okay, yeah, this, this is an expensive place. And how much cargo do we have? Hopefully we will be have burnt through two more fuel by the time we reach salt lions. So yeah, okay, let's carry one with us. They troop aboard, each one lies down in an appointed position next to the other, nested snugly head to foot. We are for London, one explains. Okay, sure, hopefully I can get something out of this. So yeah, 
to the Salt Lions, uh, the Hunter's Keep, and then to London. Okay, so we are about to hit, uh, go down on our lost supply, but I still think we can make it. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's compile the port reports. Carry the Sphinx Stones to London. And the Salt Rites. And keep moving. Okay, so why is there nobody home? Go up to the house. Crunch across the gravel, up to the door. The brass of the door knock is tarnished. Up the paint is beginning to peel in the salt sea air. No one answers, but the door is unlocked. Weird. Okay, let's go in, have a look. Words in darkness. The hall is dark, the portal too. There are signs of disturbance here and there, a smashed cup, an overturned piano stool, scratches on the walls, you bend up to pick up a page of paper and hold it to the light. It is an unfinished poem. You think the handwriting may be Phoebe's, the absent moon, the gnawing hunger in the heart, the well, the sea, the great many crossings out. There are sounds from downstairs, from the kitchen. You push open a door, cautiously. Something clings to the ceiling. Something turns yellow eyes. Something turns yellow eyes to you and hisses. Okay. You explore the silent house and house on the hunter's keep. You gain one terror. Something somewhere has changed. Yeah, no shit. Where are the sisters? Where in the world all are the sisters? The thing in the kitchen. The yellow-eyed maid clings to the ceiling like a lizard. Fierce and wary in the, her ragged uniform, she hisses furiously. When you advance a step, she scurries away to the far end of the room, still on the ceiling, weeping. Okay, um... She's dangerous, and somehow you suspect you may not have much time. Okay, let's try this one as well, then. You succeeded. Hold down. It's like trying to get a jaguar out of a tree. Three of your crew are badly bitten, but at least you restrain her, and she lies on the table, glaring and growling. What now? You try to question her. Those poor sailors, she spits. You realize that in all the time you spent at the Hunter's Keep, she had never spoken. The poor sailors, I didn't come here for this. Dn them to the well. With the serpentine wriggle, she frees of the net. She returns to the ceiling in one inhuman leap. Okay, this place is really weird. Loot the house. Musical instruments, curious jewels, even Phoebe's painting is will sell. It's robbery, not salvage. But if you don't, someone else may. I'm not gonna rob them. They've been really nice to me. So now I'm going. I'm going back to London. But at least something interesting happened this episode. <laughs> Dreams of a city. Here is the city of sandstone and granite. Inhabitants walk gossiping the streets, sipping the dark wine. They are dressed for a warm day, but it is in the night of the neath air. The air is for... The air is an... No, there is an air of uneasy celebration. Okay, listen, what are they saying? It's an air of celebration, as with many languages spoken in dreams, you understand the meaning without understanding the words. A great disaster has been averted. The king's folly is ended by the prince's cunning, and the, her 
Herald of night are bound. Yes, the sun is gone, and no, the place below ground are not what they have been thought. But perhaps that's for the best, considering. It will be remembered. They will mark the triumph. You wake the language. What language were they speaking? Yeah, a lot of weird things happening right now. But yeah. London next. And back home. The revenue man, sure, we have nothing to hide. Backs and frustrated. Blah blah blah, collect messages. Okay. Well, this is the end of this episode, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you didn't, and a comment down below. And if you want to see more daily content here from me, then please, do subscribe. Now I hope you guys have a good one, and thank you for watching.